Well, I went down to see my father in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and um, to tell him I graduated from high school, mm -hmm. in college. So I went down to see him, and uh, you know, I told him I graduated, and he's like, "Well, I'm, I'm happy you did that," you know, and just kind of blew me off. Mm -hmm. I said, "Well, I'm go to college, you know, and become an architect." And he's like, well, I hope you don't need anything from me because I don't have anything to give you. Oh, man. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Dad. Yeah. You know, I was the first kid in my family to ever graduate from high school. Were you really? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, did so with great grades. So I was hurt. I was angry. And uh, we went to a wrestling show. And youth, ignorance, and alcohol got involved. Oh, boy. After about six or seven beers, it came to my mind that if I wanted my dad to be proud of me, I needed to go get in the ring and beat up somebody. Okay. You know, that just made all the sense in the world to me. And I wasn't afraid of nothing. <laughs> so I went up to the ringside and I beat on the mat and I challenged this guy named uh, Billy Bad Boy Hines and uh, got in the ring with him and he stretched the shit out of me <laughs> he had me crying he had me pissing on myself you know I, I'm lucky he knew who I was because he could have hurt me really bad yeah but he stretched the hell out of me for about 15 minutes, man. You know, he had me crying, you know, <laughs> crying for mama and everything, man. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. To the point that I had to crawl out of the ring. I couldn't Holy get shit. up. I crawled back to the locker room, and my father was standing there, and he looked down at me, and he goes, I'm ashamed of you. You're gutless, and you'll never amount to anything. Mm. Wow. That was hard to take. Fuck yeah. And I, I remember that night laying in bed, man, and uh, so upset, so angry. And uh, that's when I made the decision I was going to be a wrestler. That I was going to be a wrestler that was better than my father. No matter, the, no matter the size difference, because, you know, he was seven foot and weighed 425 pounds. Yeah, huge guy. And, uh, but I made up my mind that I was, no matter what, I don't care what I had to do. If it was cheating, okay, I'll do it. If it was stealing, okay, I'll do it. I made a deal with the devil that night, man. And uh, after that, the next day, I started trying to see how I could get involved. The father didn't want me to be a wrestler. You know, at this time, for added perspective for everybody, you're 19 or 20 years old, and you're surrounded by a bunch of grown men who are trying to make a living to put food on their table and pay their bills. And, like, you are just wet behind the ears, no real knowledge. Um, what can you tell us about your early experiences in that environment? Like, around, like, you know, some pretty gruff guys. Was everybody good to you for the most part? For the most part, everybody was pretty good, except for the people that my father had heat with. They were real assholes. Okay. You know, I had a couple of them rough me up in the ring pretty good. Because they didn't like your old man and they're taking liberties with you? Right. Do you remember any of the names of these guys? There was a handful of them. And, uh, you know, I never did know why it happened, but it doesn't really matter because it shouldn't have happened. I meant to ask you this earlier. That guy that stretched you on that first night when you tried to climb into a ring, did you ever cross paths with him again? I wrestled him again. Did you really? Yeah, a few years later. And how did that go that time? Just about the same. <laughs> <laughs> he was still a pretty rough customer. Yes, he was. <laughs> do, you, do you know what ever became of the guy? Oh, he faded off into the sunset. 
Well, fuck that guy beating up a young kid like you. Jesus. Uh, I probably uh, needed it. Well, it's, I, I guess it did show you that it's, you know, the business isn't easy and certainly isn't for anybody who's, uh, who's not tough. 